우리 동네에선 그 노래를 오징어라고 불렀다. 마치 오징어를 닮은 그림 때문에 붙은 이름이었다. So you just finished the Squid Game, or you're still watching it. First, a warning: this video contains spoilers. I'm Michelle Yehi Lee, Tokyo Seoul bureau chief at the Washington Post. I'm Korean American and I'm fluent in the language, so I wanted to help you enjoy Squid Game like a native Korean speaker like myself. Let's talk about names. 강세벽. 세벽. 이름 좋네. 네 이미지랑은 안 맞지만. There's symbolism attached to some of the character names in Squid Game. 이거 보자 생겼네. Han Minya is a rambunctious character who uses her femininity as an advantage to get ahead. Her name translates to one beautiful woman. The name gives more texture to her ability to embrace her femininity and translate it into confidence and a survival tool. Most notably, the way that she died just says so much about her resolve to enact revenge on a man who betrayed her and hurt her, which may be yet another manifestation of her femininity being central to her identity. Contestant number 001 is an old man who has a terminal brain tumor who decides to participate in the game anyway. We later find out that he was, in fact, the mastermind of the Squid Game. Take the pair! When he revealed his name during the Marvel episode, you know, the episode where he supposedly dies, Korean audiences got a clue that there may be more to his character. And that clue was his name, Oh Il Nam, which means number one man. To me, it clicked immediately that he was contestant number one for a reason, and not just as a random act of being drawn first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's so much you can learn about Sangwoo's character if you understand the significance of the Korean terms that are used about him. Sangwoo is a pride of Sangwondong, a working class neighborhood of Seoul, who went to Seoul National University and found a career in investment banking. Graduating from Seoul National University Business School carries elite status. Seoul National University is one of the three most prestigious schools in South Korea, and is the first word that makes up a common acronym referring to the three top schools, SKY. That stands for Seoul National University, Korea University, and Yonsei University. Going to a sky school is seen as a golden ticket to carve out your career. The fact that Sangwoo reached the top status is such a point of pride for his mom. You can tell this when the camera pans over his mom's fish store and you can read in Korean that his mom named the store after him. While it's a common practice among Koreans to name their businesses after their kids or after their family, it brings greater depth to the character and to the relationship between him and his mom. There are expressions and nuances that are lost in translation and squid game for an American audience. Ali, a Pakistani worker, calls every older man around him Sajangnim, which is a word you use for your boss. The fact that Sajangnim is his default title to every older man around him immediately places a character into context for a Korean audience. Ali is a foreign worker in a lower ranking position at his workplace. Honorifics are important. They define the social statuses between the people using them. They determine the difference in age, how you should treat each other, how to talk to each other, and even who should pay for meals when you get together. When Sangwoo encourages Ali to use the word hyung, this is a big deal. It symbolizes a closeness that Ali is not accustomed to and it establishes a deep level of trust and vulnerability for Ali when it comes to his friendship with Sangwoo. Hyung! Hyung! Hyung, where are you? Hyung! Sangwoo, Hyung! 
You don't see the word Hyung mentioned in the captions. Hyung. According to the captions, Ali calls Sangwoo by his name, Sangwoo, but that would never happen in a Korean society. The evolution of the bond between the two makes Sangwoo's betrayal all the more painful. Hey. When Han min is left out of the marble game because she has no partner, and then she later reveals that she was saved as a result, she uses a word that is not quite reflected in the captions. The word is 깍두기. 가면 쓴 놈들이 나보고 깍두기래. 짝이 안 맞아서 혼자 남은 사람을 깍두기라고 하잖아. 야, 니네들도 들어봤지? 깍두기! It's actually a type of crunchy radish kimchi that you may have seen at a Korean restaurant. It's radish that's cut into cubes. It's my favorite kind of kimchi. When kids pick sides or get together into pairs to play a game, of course there's a chance that one person gets left out. Most likely, that person is the weakest player. Sparing the kaktugi is a unique concept of saving the least wanted person and showing them grace and fairness and letting them set out the game or survive the round. Episode 6 begins with number 001 and number 456 deciding to pair up as Ganbu. When kids are asked to find their Ganbu for a game, they find their best friend, the one they trust the most. And they ask each other, Ganbu haja. And that means, let's do Ganbu. It's an act of trust and connection. They typically link pinky fingers symbolizing a pinky promise to be there for each other. Yeah, 맞아요. 이렇게. Ganbu is a slang term that represents the same team. It's used to indicate a deep connection and loyalty, like a neighborhood best friend, like you ride or die, except in this case, you literally die. The characters are told to pair up and immediately gravitate toward the person they've established trust with. They're horrified when they find out that they're going to be pitted against each other. 승리합니다. 